Hello, I'm Casey Weijer with Prosperity Now, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Prosperity Now scorecard, a comprehensive online resource for over 100 measures of household financial health and state policy recommendations. All of the data for states, cities, and other local areas can be found at scorecard.prosperitynow.org and viewed in two different ways. You can look at the data in data by issue, which will show you all of the details and data for a specific measure, or data by location that shows you all of the data for a specific community. Going into the site through data by location will take you to our interactive map, which you can use to find the data for any state, city, county, metro area, or for the first time in the 2018 scorecard, congressional districts or tribal areas. Pick your geography you're interested in viewing here. And then once the map generates, you can scroll through to see the values for any different community or zoom in to get details at a more local area. To click through to see all the data for one community, you can either click on that place in the map or you can type into the search box above the map. A tip, if you're searching for congressional districts, start to type the state and the congressional districts will show up. Once you find the community in the menu you're interested in, click on it here and it'll take you through to the detail for that place. Once you're in this location, you can scroll down and see all of the measures that we have for your community. This section defaults to financial assets and income, but you can click through to see the data in any of our five issue areas. And if there's data available by race, you can click here to see how the different communities compare within that place, in this place, congressional districts, you can also download this chart if you'd like to use it within a presentation or a report. Closing this now, back up at the top of the page, you can click here to see the demographic data for your community, or you can click here to download a PDF that contains all of the information and the data for your community. To select another community, simply close here and it'll take you back to the map. If you look at the information for a state, you'll see that there's outcome data, but there's also policy data. You click through here, you can scroll through to see any of the 53 policies we have at the state level for each state. If you'd like to see how your state compares to another state, you can simply select a measure here, scroll down to the bottom, hit compare. It'll take you to another page and you can type in other states to see how your state stacks up. Back from the home page. Let's explore the data by issue section where you can see all of the 62 outcome measures we have for states, the 53 policy measures at the state level, as well as the 26 measures we have at the local level. To start with, you first select the issue area you want to see, I'm going to pick housing and home ownership, pick the type of measure you want to see, I'm going to choose local, and then we select the measure. The information will populate below. You can see the data definition as well as the source, there's that. And if you scroll down for local, there's a selection menu that lets you pick the geography you'd like to see. You can choose between any of the local geographies we have in the scorecard. We choose cities. We're going to pick cities within Florida. Because the scorecard contains all local places with over a thousand households, we have a large number of cities and counties within the scorecard. So we let you filter by population so that the list that you get is a little more manageable. So if you choose large cities, click apply. 
the table will populate below. And here you can see a table for cities in Florida with a population over 75,000. And here we can sort alphabetically by population as well as by home ownership rate. And if data by race is available for this measure, you can click here to see a chart of the data by race within that community, or you can click here to see all of the data for all of the cities disaggregated by race. Scroll back up to the top to select another measure. We're gonna choose measure at the state level, and here you can see that we have more measures available at the state level than we do at the local level. And as well, for some measures, we have data available for all the states, but also disaggregated for people with disabilities. So here you can see the data broken out for households with a member that have a disability, as well as households without a member with a disability. If you're looking at an outcome measure, you can see the related policy measures. And if we click through to see what a policy measure looks like, first we find information on the policy, what the state can do to meet the threshold for a strong policy, and find more additional information, what states have done, links to expert organizations on that issue. If we close, we then see a table below, with detailed information on the policies across all the different states. And you can also create customizable policy groups for your state that you can download as a PDF that you can use as a leave behind in meetings with policymakers. Scroll back up to the top. You can create other reports in our reports menu and customize them for states. Here's a report where you can download all of the information for your state, the local outcome report that we saw that has all of the information for any local community. You can create the reports and charts for people with a disability. You can also create reports and charts breaking out the data by race, as well as other graphics, including maps of policy adoption and trend data at the state level. If you're looking for more information, we've got links to other resources, more policy guides, more briefs around the policy information. You can connect with advocates within your state. You can also contact your legislators here at Prosperity Now's advocacy tool. At the About menu, you can find out more about the scorecard, including more information about the methodology we use to collect and assess the data. And with that, we thank you for joining us today. Hope you find the scorecard useful. If you have any questions for us, please contact us at scorecard at prosperitynow.org. And thank you so much for your attention today.